Rubber industry is a vital sector which provides various products for human needs. Rubber is the third merchandise export item of Sri Lanka, producing 70,867 tonnes to 78,204 tonnes of rubber per year. Atale Rubber Factory is operated under Kigale Plantation Plisi, under the umbrella of Richard Pieris, Company Plisi. This factory produces 2,000 kilograms to 3,000 kilograms of rubber per day. Wastewater is one of the most severe pollutant from rubber industry. Generally, rubber industry wastewater comprises organic compounds, high concentrations of nitrogen, sulfate compounds. High electrical conductivity level and low PA in the wastewater were results of using ammonia and sulfuric acid at the manufacturing process. Wastewater treatment was done through activated sludge system, and firstly physical separation of suspended and dissolved excess rubber particles were carried out. Then attached growth, anaerobic treatment and suspended growth aerobic treatment system was implemented using activated sludge technology. Then extensive filtration process was carried out to polish the effluent. Online pH monitoring and automated adjustment systems were implemented before biological process to avoid inhibition of bacteria and before final discharge point to make sure safe environmental discharge. First time in Sri Lanka, we have implemented dual HEP cover system for anaerobic tanks in this project. This cover system is flexible and robust which helps to store the biogases produces during the anaerobic treatment and withstand the corrosiveness of the anaerobic gases. This technology has the advantages of easy and quick installation, durability and cost saving. This approach can replace the expensive cover system used in Sri Lanka previously. Finally treated wastewater from the factory flows through a paddy field and cultivation land, where farmers willingly uses this water for their irrigation purpose. Excess water is flows to the nearby stream where many other human and environmental consumptions take place. Overall this project has set an example for sustainable management of rubber industry wastewater in Sri Lanka.